Hello, uh, today I would like to note and show how um, to read from I squared C values from sensor. So I have here a position sensor, an I squared C position sensor. Um, I have two wires connected to the VCC and ground. I have two, one SCL and one SDA. Uh, the SCL connected to SCL connected to pin 22 and SDA connected to pin 21 on an ESP32 running MicroPython that you can see here. So I have here a console I've been experimenting uh, a bit with. The first thing to do is, oh, first I would like to thank this guy, Micronote, that has a very um, well done tutorial. Uh, and then the documentation. So the first thing is to import, uh, which I did here. And then in my case, this didn't work. So I had to declare I squared C equals and give uh, the pins here. Then if you do a scan, you will get all of the devices that are connected, which is pretty cool to first get, uh, you know, to be sure that everything's connected correctly. 54, uh, you should remember this. Then we can read from, so <coughs> I'll do it here. Let's say value one uh, equals, oh wait, I will show you first the documentation. So here we can see the documentation and here we have the different addresses of and what they are. Uh, in our case, we want the raw angle and we can see the address here and we can read from the documentation that if we do I squared C dot uh, read from memory, then we give it, so we will first start with not V1, but V high or a high value. Uh, then we give, so the first thing is to give the address that you got from the scan to know which device you are talking to. Of course, you can write this into a program so that you don't have to, to type it every time. Um, then you can give which memory address it is. In our case, it's 0x0c and then one byte. Now, if we print VH, we can see that uh, it's zero C, which is, I don't know why do we do this, but if we access the first element of VH, we can, uh, we will get, so wait, I will first do something, type of VH, this is a byte. Now type of first element of VH, it's an integer. So if we get the first element of a byte class is the integer value of this, um, of, this in, uh, of this number, VH. So just to give you a rotary uh, sensor that I'm using here. this one so it's a sensor that will allow you with the magnet to know which orientation the magnet is with this small magnet so if we print VH we will see 12 and if we convert the value we got earlier 0C here we will see 12 uh, then we will do the same for the second part why do we have two parts uh, it's because the data is a it's a 12 uh, bit resolution sensor. So we, one value is encoded on 12 uh, small zeros and ones. So we have eight here and four here. And these ones are the strongest uh, values. So you can see because it's 11 to eight and seven to zero. Now we will do the same for the low part. So SPI dot 
read from no i squared c i squared c dot read from memory and then 56 what no 54 uh, what was it again? 0x, zero 0d, zero hop, and 1. Okay, now vl equals vl 0. I could have done this uh, higher, actually, I think. Yes. And now we need to merge them uh, for this. So if I type binary of VL, this will give me a string version of the binary of VL. So you can see it's an 8 bit, but if we, I do it for VH, it's a 4 bit because we only have this part. Now I want, what I want is to have basically a binary that has this, this shape 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, then 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So the higher uh, part, then the followed by the follow, lower part. For this, uh, we will, it's called bit shifting. We will take the higher part, we will shift it by eight values and then uh, we will add to it in binary format the lower part so basically wait i want to show you what we are doing step by step so we shifted we added eight zeros on the right and then when we will give the lower part when we will add the end v v low so this will be compared every bit will be compared to this and the ones will be transformed to ones and the zeros will be transformed to, to zeros but i need to remove this and do the operation on the integers and just print so you can see here uh, angle equals this And if I print the angle, you can see it's 3314, uh, which is normal because if we look in the documentation, we can see that we have here. So since it's 12 bits, it's uh, 2 to the power of 12. which is 4096 so the values the 360 degrees are encoded on a 3000 and um, 4096 which means that one uh, increment one value increment is 360 divided by 4096 0 0.08 or almost 9 uh, degrees and we can see that uh, 3072 is almost equal to having the magnet uh, straight on this of course i cannot know because I, I don't have this line on my magnet but you can see that uh, if, if we want now to get it in degrees we just go angle divided by 4096 multiplied by 300 And yes, voila, 300 degrees earlier. How much did I find? Where was this? P1, being P1, so being P2. Ah, here. Tuck, 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 tuck. Tuck, tuck, tuck. I did the sum. 287. And now, yeah, which it, it does make sense. 
so it's reliable. Okay, now you know how to to use a sensor in I squared C. It's the same. You should just read the documentation, and it's uh, basically the same idea. Uh, there are a few things to remember. The first element of a byte class in Python is the integer uh, value of it. You can do your operations uh, on the integer type, not on the string uh, type. So if I do vh, I don't know, operation 8, it will not work because th this bin is just a string, but I can do it on the vh. You can do the opposite as well. So if I do vh8 or maybe vh12, two. So I removed. I moved it, and I can even do it once more. Yeah, I need to do it three. Well, I can shift uh, bytes uh, both sides. I hope that this was useful.